Silver pulls back slightly during the early hours on Wednesday. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Exynets, the world's leading retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fees. Look for a link in the description below. Silver has pulled back just a bit during the early hours on Wednesday as we may have gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves yet again. When I look at the moving average convergence divergence indicator, we are clearly showing signs of divergence from April. So I do think that a pullback makes quite a bit of sense. Whether or not that pullback leads to some type of massing, massive shorting opportunity, I don't know. But I think it does lead to a pullback that will be worth watching. Maybe we get a pullback towards the $31 level and a bounce. If we do, then I think it's a continuation of the market going higher. If we can break above the $32.50 level, then we could really start to take off to the upside, perhaps reaching towards the $35 level. The size of the candlestick on Tuesday was extraordinary, and therefore it does suggest that there are plenty of buyers underneath given enough time. Even if we break down from here, the $30 level, I think, is also massive support with the 50-day EMA coming into the picture. Remember, silver is getting a bit of a boost due to the Federal Reserve cutting rates and the shrinking U.S. dollar, but the U.S. dollar is oversold. So this all lines up quite nicely, and therefore, I think a little bit of a pullback in silver and maybe a little bit of a gain by the U.S. dollar probably tracks fairly well. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.